Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. I've just come back from a pretty quiet fishing trip with my friend Jake, um, but we managed to catch these beautiful specimens that you see in front of us. So we managed to get three flathead and one scorpion fish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna do this in a few parts because I want to take a fish print of the big flathead and the scorpion fish and then Obviously, I'm going to cook them up because this is cooking out. So what I'll be doing today is I'll show you guys how I clean these fish up to get them ready for fish printing. And if you want to check out another episode of me doing a fish print, you can check out the video up here. Just bear in mind the lighting in my house kind of sucks, but we'll do our best to make it work. And as always, there's timestamps in the description down below, so you can skip to whatever part you want to watch. Go for it. Okay, so first things first, we want to remove the guts and the gills. We'll grab some paper towel, just wipe down the slime. It'll make it easier to handle when it's not so slippery. So we'll just make an incision from the anus. Up through here. Use our scissors, chop that up. Open it up. There you go. And then, what we'll do is we'll come in here. We'll cut off the base of the gills. Cut them off from the head as well. Okay, and then like magic, Okay, it wasn't like magic, but you could pull out almost all of the guts that way in one fell swoop. Now we'll just clear out whatever is left in there. We've got some liver, we've got some egg sacs, I think, or ovaries. And then we're going to score near the spine to expose the kidney. And then we'll take it over to the sink for a good rinse. So when you're rinsing out the kidney area, if you have something like a toothbrush, you can just uh, brush out all that bloodline. Just under some running water. Obviously, don't use a toothbrush that you brush your teeth with, because that would be gross. Alright, in some better light here, you can see that the body cavity is completely clean. And that's what we want. Okay, now that we've done the flathead, let's move on to the scorpion fish. The principles will be exactly the same. We want to remove the gills and the guts. So cut from the anus up to the collar, cut through it, probably with scissors, because it's pretty tough, and then cut out the gills, pull out the gills and guts in one motion, clean out the kidneys, and we're good. And obviously, like in the previous scorpion fish video that I did, we got to watch out for these spice, because they're going to hurt. is open. Let's take out the gills. Okay. It appears I was pulling the whole spine with me. There you go. That's a better example of everything coming out in one fell swoop. There you go. From the gills, swim bladder, the organs, everything. Okay, so we've cleaned the fish, we've removed the gills and the guts, and now we've just got to scrub the slime off, and then they'll be ready for printing.
Good morning guys and we're continuing on with the fish printing. Uh, so as I mentioned yesterday, we've cleaned the fish, we've got the slime off, we've taken the gills out and the guts. So now we're just going to get them ready to print. So I'll start with a flathead first and what I want to do is I want to articulate the fins and dry them out. So we'll start by pinning the fins down where we want them and then drying them out with a hairdryer. Alright, so we've got our pins here. Let's have a look. So it's been sitting in the fridge overnight, just wrapped in paper towel. So it's a little bit dry on the bits that weren't wrapped up, so I'm just going to put some water back into the fins. Just so I can stretch them out without them tearing. It's actually still a bit slimy. So as you can see, it's slowly fanning out. So we want that tail to be fanned out. Put a pin there. Take another one, pin it down around there. There we go. So it's actually unnatural for the flathead's tail to be like that because they obviously sit flat and the tail fin sits up like that but I'm rotating it to the side just so it looks better on the print. Let's start with these fins down here. Don't want to spread these too far from the body. And unfortunately, being a flat fish, I won't be able to get the uh, the nice dorsal fins on here because they'll just be flat against the body. But if you can see them, they look really cool. Super cool. Okay, so I'm happy with the way that looks, so I'm going to hit it with a hairdryer just to dry out the fins and that'll keep them in place. Okay, so when the fins are dry to the touch, we can remove the pins. And if it is sufficiently dry, they should stay in place. All right, now let's mix up our ink. We're using the same stuff as last time, cuttlefish ink. Just gonna put some of that into a mixing bowl. It's very thick, like a paste. So we'll dilute it with a bit of water, just a tiny bit at a time. So this is the consistency that I like. It's kind of like a sugar syrup. Now we'll grab some some spare paper, well, this is our printing paper. We'll grab some pieces of paper to put under the fins, right where they're touching the board. So when we go to um, put the ink on the fins, if we miss it and it hits the board, then we can take the pieces of paper out and then that won't be printed. There we go, it's been blocked out. Now we'll apply the ink. So what I've got is just a little makeup pad. I'll dip that into the ink and then just brush it onto the fish. We'll avoid the eyes just because I don't want the eyes to be printed 
I'll do that afterwards. I'll end up um, just freehanding the eyes in with some ink or a pen. And I'll do the fins last just because I don't want them to absorb the ink too fast and then they'll close up. Okay, so we'll get our piece of paper ready to print just before we do the fins, so we've got everything ready to go. So we'll very quickly do the fins now, and then we'll do our first print, which will kind of be like a test print, and then it'll show me where I need to apply more ink or take off more ink, just to make the uh, print look good. Oops. So you can see the fins close up very quickly when you apply moisture to them. So we kind of got to make it work, as it were. Right. Take these bits out. Okay, here goes our first print. Just work your way over the contours of the fish. Make sure to press down on the fins so you can get them printed. All right, let's have a look. Beautiful. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. So you can see I'm missing some details on the head. And when I go to do it for the second time, I'll make sure to concentrate around the face area a bit more. Um, I actually like the gap between the body and the fins. It gives it a bit more definition, so yeah, it's not bad. So what I'll do is I'll probably just apply a very, very thin layer of ink over the whole fish again, and then I'll print it for the second time. Oops. I always do this, I forget about the paper underneath and then I end up putting ink on the board. Silly, silly me. Rookie mistake. Oh well. Rookie mistake for a rookie, hey? Okay. So he's lightly coated again in ink. Let's give him the second print. So if I remember from last time, I needed to work the face a bit more. Let's see if we can get those pectoral and pelvic fins printed. Come up to the head. Work the crevices in the head. Up to the mouth. All right. There we go. There's our flathead fish print. And you can see this white hole here. That's actually the hole in its head where I um, brain spiked it to uh, quickly put it out of its misery instead of leaving it in a bucket to suffocate. So I might fill that in with a bit of ink um, and also 
you can see what I was talking about when it hits the the board it prints it out it doesn't look great but yeah I'm a noob so we're gonna have to live with it but yeah otherwise it looks pretty good to me so what I'll do with this fish right here because we're still gonna eat it obviously I'm just gonna quickly rinse all the ink off wrap it up in a bit of paper towel and chuck it back in the fridge okay so with the power of editing here's the second fish the scorpion fish um, its spikes are still on, unlike last time, and it is even more scary than last time. Have a look at those spikes, they are just, whew, they are asking to spike me. So, I'm going to take my time, be really careful, and hope I don't have to get sent to hospital. <laughs> So I guess in the time it was put in the fridge, or maybe me scrubbing it clean, all the membranes between the, uh, I think the pectoral fin, um, they've come apart. So it had a nice big fin like that, but it's, it's all split now, so I'll just keep it against its body and it'll still look okay. All right, let's dry it out. So the dorsal fin is very stubborn and it doesn't want to stand up. I might just pull, pin these ones because I really like the look of the ones at the back. So if I pull them forwards, at least those ones will stand up nicely. And I'll leave this one in here because when I caught it and dispatched it, I bled it out by cutting the, um, I guess the bottom part of the head away from the collar here. And I always forget about. Let's give it some ink. Let's see if I can try and keep its mouth open a little bit as well. It's just a million and one spikes on this fish. It's like made of spikes. So just like before, I'll do the body first and the fins last to help them keep their shape. Alright, now obviously because this thing is basically made of spikes, I'm going to have to be pretty careful about where I'm putting my hands when I make this print. So pray for Mojo and uh, wish me luck. It's a little bit trickier than the flathead just because it's such a round, round bodied fish. It might be easier if I filleted the other side first just to make it flat, or if I sit the fish inside a hollowed out foam core. We'll make it work. So you can see one of the face spikes, it's already poked through the paper. Spooky fish. Spooky, spooky. All right, let's see how that looks. Hmm. So you can see, because of the roundness of it, it doesn't really print out the contours of the head so good, so I'm gonna have to work on that. 
and also work on the membranes in between the uh, dorsal fin there. The tail looks nice. You can see lots of detail on that. Okay, a very quick once over with the ink again. And let's go for that second print. So you can see the tails come through nicely. All these other fins are gonna be pretty, pretty hard to print, I think. It's also partly remembering where all the fins are and having to print them. So I remembered we have to do the face, those dorsal fins, and try and get the membrane this time. All right, let's see how that looks. That's not too bad, but it's certainly not the best. But hey, it's pretty cool. Okay, so that's it for this episode, guys. We made the fish print of the flathead and scorpion fish, and they turned out all right. I like the flathead a bit better than the scorpion fish, just because I think it printed better. But either way, now I've got two fancy new prints to hang up on the wall. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. And um, make sure to check out the next episode, because uh, that's where I'll do the actual cook-up of the fish. I'm going to do like a like an impromptu hot pot kind of thing. Just throw it all together, see how it tastes, see if it works out. I'm sure it will be fine. But thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.